How many people here have already read the book, The Reconnection? Looks like about 25%, okay. Just for my own visual, do the opposite. How many haven't? How many of you have forgotten your arms? <laughs> look like 25% yes, 25% no, and 25% are very confused. And then there's another 25% somewhere. How many people practice what is classically considered or thought of as an energy healing technique? Now, before you answer that question, let's describe what an energy healing technique is because everything is energy. We know that. And we also know that when we get together, gathered in a group, everyone wants to try to make what they do into an energy healing technique. Yes, acupuncture uses energy. No, it is not considered classically as an energy healing technique. Okay? Yes, massage uses energy. No, it's not an energy healing technique. Energy healing techniques are Reiki, Chorei, Chin Chin, Shigan, Mahjong, Beijing, EFG, XYZ, one, two, three, and it's all about me. I bring the energy up, I bring this much of it down. I move it in that direction because it shouldn't go in that direction unless I do this technique that moves in that direction because it shouldn't go in that direction. And we all know that there's seven chakras, nine chakras, 12 chakras, 49 chakras, and 149 chakras, and pretty soon there'll be a bigger chakra when we discover the 150. Meanwhile, we have to balance the chakras this way, moving clockwise, not counterclockwise, except when you do the ones that are counterclockwise, that are clockwise. Of course, they never ask whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on what you're looking up. If your own chakras are down, somebody else. And you spray yourself off with alcohol and kill all the negative energy while you're at it, and run in the high, and turn around in clockwise circles from full moon to full moon, except during the month where there is a blue moon when you can moon everyone for a third time. Who does classically considered energy? <laughs> 